Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is actually a timeless collective reading for the sign of Capricorn. So, looks like you guys are moving away from a situation where you feel like you've been backstabbed, betrayed. Um, you can feel like you've been surrounded by a lot of people who are actually like your, your enemies, people who have, I'm hearing word curses, like people who have literally been cursing your life in some way by the things that they said to you or about you. There could be people who have been really stabbing you on the back, you know, assassinating your character, things like, like that. Um, you can feel with the Ten of Swords of like you're just hitting a brick wall with a situation and trying to, I don't know, like get people to see your worth, your value, understand that the things they're saying about you is, is not true, is what I'm getting. Because underneath it is the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like I'm hearing you're tapped out. Like at this point, maybe you're starting to feel like you need to be more selfish with your time, effort, energy, maybe your finances as well, depending on the situation, and you just need to move on. Um, this could be something right now where it's necessary for you to move away from these situations where it's not a reciprocal relationship in order for you to actually be in charge, to have more independence. Um, some of you, you, you're, you just don't have people around you who are loyal. Um, they're not really committed to themselves and therefore they can't really be committed to you. Um, yeah, the Two of Cups is in the reverse with the Two of Pentacles. A lot of you now, you're just choosing to disconnect. You don't want to work. There's a particular friendship or relationship or partnership that I feel that you no longer want to be a part of because it's constant, like back and forth, ups and downs. You could be dealing with the type of person that's juggling you. Um, you or someone that you're dealing with right now could be juggling with your finances. I just feel, yeah, the Eight of Swords is here in reverse. So you want to escape whatever this, um, in this, this feeling of being trapped is. Yeah. And then you have the Emperor, the High Priestess, and the Six of Wands. So apparently whenever you get something out of the way, you're moving right into the Emperor, the High Priestess, and the Six of Wands. Some of you, this could be you balancing your own feminine and masculine energy. With the high priestess here and the emperor, you could be male or female, but you could be sitting in this emperor high priestess energy, meaning right now you're learning how to utilize your own intuition, your own wisdom, your own knowledge, um, tapping in more with source with your spiritual team in order for you to actually get some kind of stability structure um, like order in your life. Some of you, maybe you're thinking about starting even like a spiritually based business or whatever the case may be that that doesn't have to be the case for everyone, but you definitely right now are probably thinking about how you need to have more discipline. I feel like right now the collective you're seeing as a lot of things are being revealed to you about the, the betrayals and the deception around you, you're really, really deciding now to focus on yourself. And as you do this, this is going to lead you to the Six of Wands, which is going to bring you success, victory. Um, you're going to finally be able to achieve something here. Yeah. The Page of Swords is here with the Hermit. So this is definitely either you or someone else is, is diving deep right now and trying to figure out like some kind of inner truth. I feel that right now, yeah. And here's the Ace of Cups. You you guys have some some people out here who are very very stuck in like fear and anxiety about the fact that you are discovering the truth about yourself. You're starting to love yourself. You're moving into a, a position of leadership. Um, you're not allowing people to mishandle you. Um to use you and to abuse you. You're you're coming out of that cycle of your life. And I feel that a lot of people who have probably been very dependent on your energy, they're they're panicking now. Somebody is very curious with the page of swords, it's falling underneath the king of wands. Somebody is very curious about like how you're you've managed to be in control of something the King of Wands to me is always an entrepreneur card to me. Some of you, somebody is very curious as to how you started a business, why you started a business, um, how exactly did you get that role or that promotion? 
someone is very, very curious about, to be honest, it feels like your love life, your financial life. Like somebody wants to know. This could be a person or a group that you've moved away from. And it's like since you've moved away from someone here, a person that could have thought that they were in control of you in some way. It's like the um, the hermit being out here and the page of swords. It's like you found out something about yourself. Somebody didn't expect you to discover anything about yourself. Ace of Cups, Nine of Swords. And somebody here could be very, um, like, unhappy about the fact that you're choosing not to work with them. Yeah. The Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups is in the reverse, and the Nine of Swords, and Hangman, and the Tower. I feel like somebody here with the Hangman, I see the Tower, and then the Seven of Wands. Somebody, the sun in the reverse, somebody is like, wow, there's no sunshine when that person's gone. If this hasn't happened, it's what's, it's what's coming in the future where someone is going to realize that they, they really fumbled a, a big bag with you. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Somebody really fumbled. And they're coming into this, this knowledge, this awareness that you aren't the person that they should have fumbled in this way. Yeah, the hangman, the tower, the seven of wands, the sun in the reverse. Exactly. And then there's the ten of pentacles. There's this. Somebody here lied to you. They were deceitful. They they cheated on you. They juggled you. Like I said, they somebody mishandled you in a major way. And the tower here with the hangman in the reverse. Somebody now is realizing with this tower, they're having an epiphany that they are extremely extremely discontent with whatever they decided to do when they decided to block you out or um possibly choose to to like go into some kind of battle against you someone in your life could have been very like defensive they were very much stuck on maintaining some kind of control and now you have the sun upside down so now this part somebody here was in their ego they had very like unrealistic expectations. Somebody here wanted you to bow down to them and you're the one bringing the bag. The Ten of Pentacles, like you're the one here with the with the money, with the... I don't know. It's like you... Ten of Pentacles is a card of a lot of value. Legacy. Business. You know, financial abundance. In, in some cases, affluence. Wealth. Stability for sure. Somebody here is realizing now like they, they cheated themselves out of an opportunity to have this. This is could have been someone who was just very afraid with the moon in the reverse and the ace of swords in the reverse. Someone extremely afraid to look at a situation and have more like vision because here is the three of wands. Somebody didn't want to think ahead. They didn't want to make plans with you in the future. They didn't want to communicate. This person... Just that they, they could not see an opportunity being successful with you. They they couldn't see it. For some of you, like I said, this is a group. This could be friends, family, or whomever. And I feel like now the three of wands, as your ships are coming in, people are like, oh, wow. Yeah. Because the four of pentacles. You're not holding the four of pentacles, seven of swords. You see the, the truth that somebody has been deceitful. And you're not holding on to them. You're letting go of this situation. Wow. Yeah, so somebody is saying that they, they really missed a big opportunity here. The star. Somebody see they missing them. They miss <laughs> and the nine of pentacles. They missed out on the opportunity with the star, the nine of pentacles, and a freaking earth angel. Temperance. Temperance, nine of pentacles, a star. So some of you, you're an earth angel for sure. You're you're very creative, okay? You could easily just attract people, attract abundance for sure with the nine of pentacles out here. You could have some kind of job, business, um, a craft, goal, talent, ability, gift, whatever. 
it's something here. It, it's like you're, especially with the star and the temperance card out here and the nine of pentacles, this is giving me, and the hermit is here, very much like Virgo energy. A lot of you, you're very happy right now with just learning, um, becoming content with whatever it is that you're learning, whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, you're making money. At this point, you can live a very successful, independent life where you're stable, you're secure. Um, like your hard work is paying off. And you're, you're, the Seven of Cups is here in the reverse. You're not in any type of illusion. Somebody here thought that you were going to be gullible. The Queen of Cups is here in the reverse with the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Somebody honestly thought that you would be naive, you would be gullible, that you would make a bunch of poor choices in life. The Three of Swords. So someone here thought that it was okay for them to put you in third-party situations or to constantly do things to hurt you to sabotage you, to make you feel sad, lonely, depressed, confused, just alienated, the Ace of Pentacles, and, that, and then the Emperor. Somebody thought that this was going to make you lose out on some kind of offer, and it didn't. It didn't. You still receive some kind of abundance here with the Queen of Pentacles, and the Devil is in reverse because you released whatever this is, or you're releasing it currently. And I feel like somebody is intuitively seeing this because the Page of Cups is here with the Page of Wands and the Knight of Swords. For some of you, you could be a divine feminine. This is a masculine. This person with this Page of Cups, they're receiving an intuitive download that like they can't make an offer to you or that you're well on your way to receiving an offer. This person, now they want to charge in <laughs> because somebody here thought that you were you were simple-minded. You were naive that they could come towards you and, and be, you know, a trickster and you would just allow it. The time has run out on this situation. The Wheel of Fortune is here and the Lovers is in, wow, the Lovers in the reverse and the Three of Cups is in the reverse and the Six of Swords is in the reverse. The Strength card is in the reverse. It's like you don't have... Somebody was hoping that you would have that you wouldn't have any type of strength. You wouldn't have any type of strength, any type of courage, that you wouldn't move on. This is somebody who thought they had you in the bag. And I feel like they fumbled you and you got to the bag. <laughs> That's what, like somebody thought that they just had you all figured out. They could play games with you. And I feel like you released this situation and it, it seems like it was a silent release. I don't feel like you said anything to this person. You didn't fuss, fight, argue, nothing. You was just like, cool. <laughs> like whatever it is, you was just like, it's fine. And I feel like a lot of you, you went on to heal with the star. You released whatever this trickster energy is. For some of you, this is a, somebody pretending that they're your friend or a lover, you release this person. I don't feel like you said much of anything. You just released it. And you started creating. So some of you, you got out of something. You turned your pain into your purpose. You got out of a situation with somebody who was betraying you, stabbing you in the back and sitting there smiling in your face. And you just decided to, you know, become more, more faithful to yourself. You started to heal. And this has led to you having a lot of independence. Now you're in a state of, of being just very peaceful and calm with the temperance card here. You're at peace. I don't feel like you're rushing anything, no matter what it is that you want to manifest. You're not in a hurry. The temperance is not in a hurry. This is a card of doing things with self-control and moderation. Even any type of creative project you had, you weren't rushing for it. You wasn't trying to go after some get-rich-quick overnight scheme or you're not rushing into relationships. I feel like you're just cool right now. You're cool with whatever. Somebody thought that you were going to be like bent out of shape about them. No, you're fine. Yeah, the judgment is in the reverse. So you're dealing with somebody who was unwilling to learn some kind of karmic lesson. Now this person wants to come in with an offer because you've left them out in the cold. 
and Justice Card is in the reverse. Conflict, all of the hard work that this person put into creating conflict in your life, now they're dealing with it and you're moving on to having wish fulfillment. The Ten of Cups. Some of you, it's like you have new friendships, relationships, a partnership. You have new stuff coming in. This person is left to deal with whatever mess they created. And I don't feel like this person can get you back. Whoever it is, it could be a friend, family member, whomever. I don't. This is not something that you're returning to. Somebody has already shown their true colors of being a false person. And I could be talking to a man or a woman. There are some, some men out here. You've dealt with a person that thought that they could keep playing around with you and, you know, mishandling or using and trying to abuse you. You figure out this person was a false person. You're moving on. This person now, now they want to be more mature. Now people want to show, oh, I'm, I'm not like that anymore. It doesn't matter. The time has run out. See, you, you can't play with everybody. This could be somebody that has played a lot of games with you. And it's, and they thought, oh, well, you know, we'll work through it like the last time. No. <laughs> Whoever this is, there, there is no working through it. There is no returning. It's over. And I feel like I'm talking to someone right now who you know, it's, you know that it's right for this situation to be over because things have gotten better since the situation ended. You you can see now you're like I'm I'm more at peace. I've actually started to heal. I'm I'm meeting good people now. It's not so hard for me to manifest things. Wow, you're seeing that wow, there is something in your life that was blocking you. Because without the presence of this person around, opportunities are showing up. So no matter how somebody tries to come in and swindle or sway you or love bomb you, you know the truth. The proof is here. It's simple. Okay, when this person is around, you're feeling defeated. There is no reciprocity. You're lacking money. You're having problems. You, you're running into obstacles and challenges constantly. As soon as the two of cups in the verse, as soon as you stop trying to deal with yourself and this person and you stop working in this relationship with this person... All of a sudden, the star, nine of pentacles, tempers, ten of cups comes in because you stopped holding on to even the lie that you were telling yourself that this is something that could, could work for you. The four of pentacles is here in the reverse with the seven of swords. I think for a lot of you with the three of wands being here and then the seven of swords, four of pentacles in the reverse, you stop looking into the future and putting this person in your life. You started to see, no, this, 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 this won't fit into my life. I can't do this. And it seems like there's an energy ju that just shifted instantly. If you haven't done this, some of you, you need to. It's a friend, a family member, or a lover. When you simply make up in your mind that you're no longer going to give into this situation that's not serving you, you're going to start to see a major shift and change. Lots of abundance and opportunities will make its way to you finally. You know, sometimes God will say, it's not so much, not right now, it's not with them around. Sometimes God says, I can't bless you with, with them around you because they're going to steal your blessing. They have to go. When you get rid of them, then I can come in and I can do what I need to do for you. King of Swords in the reverse. Somebody here was very selfish. Very calculated, very selfish. Fear, this two of wands in the reverse. This could be somebody who was very, very selfish, very indecisive. They don't, they don't want to do anything. No decision is a decision. They didn't want to make a change. They don't want to take a chance on you. Now this person is stuck. The magician in the reverse, they can't manifest anything. Their, their creativity, whatever they were, if this person was working on something, if they had money or whatever, it's something in this person's life now that is blocked. Because you're not around. They can't feed off of you. They don't have your love and support anymore. Or for some of you, like I said, if this is a future thing for you, 
you're going to see somebody, once they lose you, they're going to see the value that you brought. Four of Cups in the reverse. Letting go. Four of Swords in the reverse. The Fool in the reverse. Somebody here just was like, just, I mean, complete, just stubborn. Refusing to do anything. And then the Queen of Swords is here in the reverse. And this is the kind of person here who refuses to change and has the audacity to go out and talk. Talk real nasty and real bad about other people. And so now look, three of pentacles and the death card, you shut this down. You're like, well, I don't want to work with you. You saw how a person, how they, how they treated you, how they treated other people. And you said, I don't want to deal with you. No, thank you. Because this is someone who refuses to, to see themselves as a problem. This is someone who can't see that the reason why things in their life is blocked is because they're mean, they're biased, they're prejudiced, they're malicious, they're vindictive, they're very afraid of change, they, they won't change, they're always being mean, nasty, rude, and stubborn. This person is just stuck in their ways, and what this person, where they messed up is they thought that they could take their... their um, judgmental, mean, malicious way of being that they do with everyone else. They thought they could do that with you too. And this could be somebody in your life that has betrayed you several times. And you've kept this person around like, oh, you know, maybe they're a change or that's my friend, that's my family member, we have history. And I feel like now you're finally saying no. Something has happened where it's like, no, nail in the coffin. This, this situation is dead. I'm not working with you or anything because this person has a real nasty like energy about themselves and they don't recognize it. Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Ooh, I don't like that combination. The Nine of Cups with the King of Pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> this is a person here, the King of Pentacles in the reverse can be somebody who is very materialistic. Someone who only thinks about money. They only think about status. This could be the kind of person they'll do anything for money and status. Nine of Cups. They'll do anything for money, for status, popularity, fame, anything to make their wish come true. So if that means sabotaging or betraying another person, they're, they're fine with doing that. Because this person, Nine of Wands in the reverse, they don't want to stand up for anything. And the Nine of Wands in the reverse can be a very, very stubborn person. And this person is a type, they want to be the last one standing. For them, it's all about, they have to win. So this part, they don't fight fair at all. This is a very ruthless, cutthroat kind of person. And now they're seeing, they're seeing how that's working out for them and it's not working. Yep, the world in the reverse. Exactly. This person is not completing some kind of karmic lesson it's a cycle here this person they're not achieving anything they're stuck they're stagnant they they just cannot seem to manifest anything it's because of how they act how they treat people how they think page of pentacles in the reverse this person is not receiving any kind of good news this is someone possibly from your past or your childhood yeah this person is experiencing nothing but losses right now they're going through heavy karma their, their life is, they're complete, this person is completely restricted. They cannot make any decisions. They're experiencing delays and everything. And the truth about them is being exposed. This is someone here who has gone out and they've lied so much on other people. People are seeing that, the, that they were a liar, but it's like, this is how you tell a person, here you are trying to destroy me with a lie when I can destroy you with your own truth. Two of swords in the reverse, four of wands in the reverse. This person is going through it bad. Greedy. This person, nine of pentacles in the reverse. They're not making any money. They're not receiving good news. They're not receiving offers. This, this person's home life, friendships, family, everything is turned upside down. 
But I can guarantee you, this is someone that saw you in a Queen of Wands energy. They saw you being much like confident, assertive, ambitious, maybe even sexy. And they thought it was it made sense for them to compete with you and try to create burdens in your life. And they, they blocked their own life by trying to block yours. Now they left five of swords feeling very defeated and stuck with their own outdated beliefs. The Hierophant. The roles here have, with the Hierophant in the reverse, the roles have been reversed. This is somebody who at one point thought that they were here to teach you something. Now, now they're learning a harsh lesson from you. Now they're, they're probably inspired by you. This could be a boss, a parental figure. Definitely someone who could be a little bit older than you. A mentor. This person at one point, they were giving you advice. But the same tongue that they were giving you advice with, they were lying on you. And they were also giving you bad advice on purpose. Now, now they're hoping that they can somehow reverse the roles and learn something from you and make some changes so that they can become inspired again and create something. This person right now is lacking passion. And it's something about this person right now, like they're stuck where they cannot make any decisions. So again, like this person, all of their efforts to block you, they block themselves. So this is for what they get for being a false person. This person has gridlocked themselves. They can't think straight. There's no good news coming in. Money could be slow to come in. But they were hell bent on trying to block you. So this nasty energy is being returned to this person. Well, like I said, the roles have reversed. be very shocked because this person at some point if they haven't already they're going to want to come to you for some kind of advice or they're going to be asking you for can you help them can you share some of your tools and resources with them rare gift yeah you have a rare gift. Soulmates is here. For many of you, wow, single life. This could be a lover. <laughs> you have luck and learning. Wow. And then look, angel at the bottom of the deck. Here's death and then toxicity. You're an angel. You're putting the end to all of this toxicity in your life. You've learned a lot of lessons. You've discovered a lot about yourself. And what's so beautiful is now that you're eliminating these false people in your life, people are starting to discover you for who you truly are. People are starting to see how rare of a gift you are. People are starting to recognize that you come with great value. So you're you're now, if, if you're single, you're going to manifest a, a really, really great relationship at some point when the time is right. And it's going to bring you good fortune. Somebody is going to start recognizing like, wow, this person, you, you can create positive changes. You can create happiness for people. You come with good fortune. And I'm not talking about just money. And this is because of the knowledge that you have, your personal power, your knowledge, how you learn things about yourself, about the world, about life, about how to avoid toxicity now. A lot of you now, you're learning that it's certain people you need to keep out of your life. And this is really going to create a major turning point for you. Wow, look, abundance. Serendipity here, it's a turning point. And some, wow, when I tell you, you have alien in marriage, somebody knows that like you are 100% 
husband wife material. It's somebody out here that's going to recognize it, but you have somebody out here that they're feeling it because they lost you. Yeah. Karmic cycle and bridge. Somebody here who wanted to keep things up in the air with you, that wanted to act as though you didn't have the potential to offer them something or they didn't feel like you were worthy of them offering you something, whatever the case may be, somebody is like, wow, you're truly one of one. So somebody feels very alienated because now you're moving on out of a karmic cycle into another phase of your life. And it definitely is into a phase of your life that for many of you, you're going from a single life to being married. So this could be friends, family, exes, or whomever. A lot of people thought like, oh, I don't see you getting married. I don't really see you being abundant and having wish fulfillment. Now they're looking like, uh oh, wait, whoa, whoa, where did this Ten of Pentacles come from? And now people, they're feeling very alienated. And I feel like the was it's all this energy that people sent to you is being returned. Because these are the same people who for so long, they made you feel alienated. They they made sure that you knew you didn't fit in. But it's okay because you're an earth angel anyway with a very rare gift. Serendipity. Everything happens for a reason. There's just a lot of like karmic balance taking place. Some of you, this is a person who was like married or committed to someone. They sat there and they played around. They saw all of your worth, all of your value. And they constantly led you on to think different things or whatever. This situation with someone, it stayed up in the air. But the wheel is here. There's a turning point. The reason why things have changed so much is because you finally recognize that there was some kind of toxicity or codependency here. I said I, the devil is here. You you recognize that it was something like hidden in the shadows around you and within yourself that needed to actually be dealt with for you to get yourself out of this, this situation. And now look, celebration and love offer. Some of you, you have a very, very beautiful connection coming. Ghosting. So somebody ghosted you and now you're going into a phase of your life where you're going to be with the love of your life and they're, they're mad about it. For some of you, you could have ghosted this person. Oh, they're taking it personally now. Because you're, you have a love offer or you're about to receive a love offer and it's going to lead to the celebration of marriage. And you could be connected with someone who was a, a leader. You could be a leader. Leadership is here. So you could be, whoever you guys are connecting with and possibly going into the serious partnership, they're, they're abundant. These are people who know their self-worth. They know your worth. Somebody here also with leadership, somebody that you were dealing with, they could have been a leader. They could be a business owner. This could be the kind of person that's always very logical. They didn't. They never wanted to think about love. It was only business. King of Pentacles in the, in the reverse earlier. It's all about the money. It's all about the power, the greed. They didn't care about now that they see you moving forward and you now have a leadership role. You're making money, you're secure, you're abundant, and you're receiving love. They're like, oh, wow. Because this person is upset now. And even if it's not a lover, it could be a friend or a family member. What many people are upset now about those of you who resonate with this energy is the fact that you somehow have managed to have it all. You didn't, in your path, you're not forced to choose money or love. It's the fact now that you have money and love. Whereas many people who have been very deceitful in your life and around you, they had to choose one or the other. P 
pink diamond. You're very rare. And you're receiving a rare one-of-a-kind love offer. You have in-between worlds and fragmented. Fluidity is here and the unseen. Some of you need to stay flexible. I don't even think that you truly see yourself. Just how like amazing of an opportunity that's like about to be presented to you. Some of you, you may still be slightly torn in between worlds or trying to figure out if you want to be with a particular person to move in a certain direction. Your energy may still be slightly split. You know, Mercury retrograde, you may still be thinking about something from the past or whatever. Some of you, you're maybe you're meant to connect with someone from your past and you're dealing with someone now. Or, you know, you're dealing with someone now and you need to make peace with the past, whatever the situation may be. But it's like, continue to go with the flow and keep an open mind. Because with the unseen here, I feel like the divine is doing something behind the scenes to ensure that you receive like a major blessing. You may not see it or understand it just yet. But I would say it's probably going to be best for you also to move in silence. One second, guys. Sorry, one second. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so it's like something is here. But the secret is the star. So with the star being here, this thing that what's behind all of this that is hidden is wish fulfillment. So it's like you're working behind the scenes or moving in silence. But the star, this part literally says, wealth and fame becoming quite popular, brand new and hopeful life. So again, it's like there's just a lot coming for you. You don't see it though. Unseen, for some of you, it's a relocation coming up. Yeah, dice and mountain, the past, trial and error. A lot of you, your past was just full of trial and error. And now it, it's time for you to get out of your comfort zone for you to overcome some kind of obstacles and challenges. And whatever has been left, un because you have unfinished and clean up here and boundaries, whatever has been left unfinished, it's fine. It, like, you don't have to, you can stand your ground and just say, okay, this is what it is. It didn't work out, and that's fine, because I feel like there's definitely something bigger and better here for you. Whatever this is, you, you don't have to settle for it. It's, it's truly just... It's not serving you. It's not enough. It's more. It's just more to life for you. Yeah. Delays. Something here that's constantly bringing about delays and it causes you to constantly be frustrated and bored. It's, it's blocking a new opportunity. 100%. Some I mean, of you, you've been dealing with somebody, they're a slacker. They don't want to put into any effort into learning how to love themselves, and they don't want to put effort into learning how to love you. This person is just draining your energy. You have your acting a fool in mental prison. Yeah. Someone is trapped in their own head. Somebody around you could really be dealing with like depression or actual mental health issues. This person, it says someone who knows they are being childish and goofy but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity. This person, they just, someone here literally could be hiding. I feel strong. Somebody is hiding the fact that they actually are struggling with their mental health. This person just acts very, very childish. And they sit in the background and stalk you constantly. And they're irresponsible. This person, like, they, they don't know how to be accountable they don't care about consequences. You can't really rely on them for anything. This person is always cooped up in the house, in their room. And this person has betrayed you. 
So somebody has betrayed you in the worst ways and now they're, they have the nerve to sit around and be trying to hide <laughs> because they're, they're embarrassed. They're ashamed of what they've done. This is just a false person. And again, a lot of the bad negative energy that they sent towards you, they, um, they're receiving you back. And they have the nerve and the audacity to wonder, oh my gosh, why, why isn't life going great for me now? Like, duh. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen here? Yeah. This could be a person that you worked with or somebody that claimed that they wanted to work with you. They're a snake. They didn't have, this is just somebody who just does not have good intentions. And when I see mental health, I always, this is someone who is a narcissist. They literally, they believe their own lies. Thief. This person wants to steal your gift because they know you're a person of, of high honor. You're a main female. You're a main attraction and you have sudden wealth. Or you have sudden wealth coming. This could be someone now, yeah, they're receiving karma. And they're concerned now about being left out in the cold and facing poverty. The scales are being balanced. When you go out and you mistreat people and refuse to play your role the right way, karma is going to come and collect. 